Hello, uh, good morning. Hello everyone, welcome to Love Leeds Parks Festival Week. Uh, my name is David Preston. Uh, I'm a countryside ranger for Leeds City Council Parks and Countryside Service. Thank you for joining me on this Heritage Thursday for a live stream guided walk of Sugarwell Hill. So come enjoy the nice little session that I've got planned for you. And I'll be telling you quite a little bit about the background history of uh, Sugarwell Hill, the history, some of it ancient and some of it industrial. So at the moment, I'm walking uh, along the Meanwood Valley Trail, just past, the, well, the side of the Meanwood Valley Urban Farm. Uh, so quite a, quite a warm day, a bit cloudy. You uh, can hear the birds singing. So let's begin. So one of the things that I find interesting about Sugarwell Hill, I mean, a lot of people don't realise the first evidence of uh, human occupation dates back to the prehistoric period, which is quite interesting. Uh, and also there's, there's archaeological remains that have been discovered in the area. That was way back in the 18th, 19th centuries. And then uh, we can jump forward a few thousand years later, well, a few thousand, more than a few thousand years later, uh, where towards the 18th century, uh, Roman activity was discovered. Uh, a Rome, an old Roman coin hoard was discovered, which is quite interesting. And that was about 260, 273 AD. So it's quite a quite an interesting area, really. You wouldn't think, would you? Looking at it all. Just passing this great tree here, can you just see? Look at that tree there. It's well round. So, bit of nature there. <laughs> so as we're just walking along the Meanwood Valley Trail, there's Meanwood Beck on our right that con uh, contains loads of interesting wildlife. Otter, native crayfish. And now we come up to an even interesting part of the historical heritage. So mean, uh, the Meanwood Beck, it runs just below Sugarwell Hill. We'll be walking up to Sugarwell Hill properly in a minute. And uh, the name itself of Meanwood is actually means mean wood, the common wood. Hmm, interesting. So it's implying that it may originally have been held in common uh, and it's Anglo-Saxon in origin. So here we go. So you'll have to excuse me, this is the first time I've ever done a, a live stream walk <laughs> event. So I would like some feedback on this at the end of the session. <laughs> So it's mentioned, uh, talking about Meanwood now, we go, we go along to the medieval period, it's mentioned in 1252 as Meanwood, which is quite interesting, in the Yorkshire Deeds, and actually some say in the Doomsday Book. And later, a few, a few, a few hundred years later, in 1584, one of the first parish register of Leeds, uh, the parish register of Leeds, uh, it's mentioned in there as well. And if we go back a few hundred years again, just nip backwards, we're always nipping backwards and forwards. It's a bit like a time machine. <laughs> so the land, uh, the land around Sugarwell Hill was, uh, was being cultivated in 1240 AD. And after the area was granted to the monks of Kirkstall Abbey, if we just look around now, the area was in the uh, township of Potter Newton. Modern, it's a modern, modern day Potter Newton housing estate actually, which is just above us. So we'll just keep on walking along the Meanwood Valley Trail until we're going to take a slight uh, right and we're going to walk up onto Sugarwell Hill properly. So at the moment we're just walking along the bottom of Sugarwell Hill just below the Meanwood Valley Urban Farm. So of course one of the earliest maps of the area date back to about 1762 which shows Sugarwell Hill covered by Scott Wood and Meanwood Valley Urban Farm was located on land called Farwood Close. I've just mentioned with uh, a couple of cyclists there just enjoying the trail. <laughs> so it's a bit of a dull day, but we're just uh, taking a nice leisurely walk. Yeah, it's fabulous. So of course one of the things that's, that's quite interesting is the windmills, starts, we'll talk a bit about the industrial heritage as well. Windmills were once a vital part of, uh, 
of Leeds and Sugarwell Hill Mill was also, if you, have you heard of the Roundhouse by any chance? I'm sure a lot, lot of local residents have. Uh, the Roundhouse on Sugarwell Hill is a four-storey uh, beauty, beauty, uh, four-storey beauty of a Grade Two listed windmill, which dates back to about 1789. This and another neighbouring mill were demolished in 1939 and were once part of the extensive. Mex, uh, Mexborough estate until until it was uh, renamed Windmill House but the local nickname is one that seems to have stuck it's, it continues to this day in a mixed the housing estate Pot and Newton, Pot and Newton housing estate so there we go talking on the other side some, some of the industrial heritage on the other side so we're coming up We'll be turning right soon. So on the other side of the Meanwood Beck, it's Bustling Fort, uh, the, the student accommodation, which of course all the Bustling Fort, it used to be a strong industrial area, which provided a lot of jobs for the area. So let's talk a little bit more about Sugarwell Sugar Hill then, as we're coming up to it. So during and after both world wars, the areas around Sugarwell were given over to growing food, allotments and small old farming due to factors like food rationing. And people were also growing food between the wars to supplement incomes and diet due to the Great Depression uh, from late 1929 onwards. So it's quite, a, quite an interesting period really. And of course, a lot of the area, there's still quite a few allotments in the area, a lot of the farmland is still in use. But it's now, it's more given over to wildlife. If you have a look, some fantastic uh, scrub meadow up there. So can you see? It's actually fabulous. It's a great for wildlife, small mammals, foxes, badgers, roe deer. So, just coming up now. Uh, you might hear some uh, somebody singing in the background there. <laughs> so, of course, due to the increase in uh, urbanisation, building of mills in, to provide employment for citizens of Leeds. No. Uh, uh, quite a lot of housing was built in the area. If you look at that, we've got an old, uh, the old farmhouse up there, which I think is in the process. There's areas in the process of being renovated, which is good. Hmm. So we're just coming out onto the entrance just across from the student accommodation, just across from me in Woodbeck. Um, actually, I was going to go that way, but we will go up here. I was going to go around and up to show you the farmhouse, but apparently I think there's a fence around it. So we're walking up one of the footpaths onto Sugarwell Hill now, which is quite narrow due to the fencing here. Nice woodland glade. Ah, one of the things you can see, there's remains, if I just show you, we just twiddle around here. There's remains of old dry stone walls behind this fence, which is like sandstone and millstone grit. So if I just show you there, sorry about this, it's very difficult with the fencing. Can you just see that? So it's quite a iconic kind of stone that was used for walling in Leeds. Millstone and sandstone grit. <clears throat> and of course, I'm hoping for some views when we get up to the top of Sugarwell Hill. But I think with them, with the uh, low lying cloud, low lying cloud and mist, I don't think it's going to be that clear today. I'm afraid. So 
So we're just walking up through this woodland, little woodland glen, Sugarwell Hill. Quite a dark tree tunnel. Quite busy today as well, quite a lot of people around. Just bumped into her, there's a member of the public there. With his dog, walking his dog. Morning. Morning. Doing a live stream walk for Leeds. Oh, right. Love Leeds Parks easy, Festival easy, Week. Easy. Yeah, I'm one of the rangers. Say hello. Oh, hello. Socially distance hello, wave. Yes, hello everyone. Brilliant. <laughs> See you later, you have a nice day. So one of the things I mean, that's quite interesting as we're coming up, I'll some more information about the agriculture of the area. During the 50s and 60s, uh, the uh, it was Lee, around here was known as part of the Rhubarb Triangle. So the Rhubarb Triangle still being grown, uh, was still being grown on the farm between Sugarwell Hill Estate and Bustling Fop Lane. Yeah, nice little footpath here. You can see me there. Walking, just walking up the track now. So when we get to the top, I'll talk a little bit more. Because I just want to catch my breath. The humidity is quite bad today. And I'm afraid my air fever is acting up a little bit, so I can only apologise if I'm not too clear. So hopefully we'll get a gap in the trees, get some views. We'll talk a little bit more about the historical heritage. Last year when I did a guided walk uh, on here, before the COVID-19 pandemic, we had, quite interesting, we spotted roe deer and badger. Uh, well, evidence of badger and uh, also a fox actually saw a fox sleeping in a little uh, wooded off area which is the first time i've ever seen them during the day daytime up here ah here we are so look at that right then i'll just turn round you can just see through the trees across the uh, valley we've got if possible you can just see through the trees you can see wood average in the background and some of the uh, mills from bustling four plane so we'll carry on we'll just carry on walking up here now we've bought we've uh, bumping in some more members of the public hello we're doing a live stream walk for love leeds parks festival week excellent hello enjoy yourself Cheers. another socially distance uh, hello So it's quite a, quite a humid day today, loads of birds singing. So Sugarwell Hill, very popular site with, with walkers, runners, cyclists, uh, and I think there's a great, it, it's just a great area for bird watching, great for seeing buzzard, red kite, I've seen both species from up here which is quite surprising. So another runner there, we'll just let this uh, this gentleman get past. <laughs> right. So we're coming to the fork in the path here. So we're going to go. We're going to go right because we're going to walk up. We want better views. We're not going to walk back to, back down towards the farm just yet because there's still plenty of info that I want to tell you a little bit about the history. So I don't know if you're aware. There's a, there's a, a volunteer community group called the Sugarwell Hill Gang that looks after. Sugarwell Hill, with the support of Leeds City Council Parks and Countryside Service, carrying out site repairs uh, and wildlife habitat, habitat management tasks. 
uh, along with occasionally the Meanwood Valley Volunteer Rangers, a group that I run tasks with. So we're just walking up now to the top of Sugarwell Hill, coming up to some steps. You can hear a magpie in the background there. Well, yeah. There we go. And of course, the Latin name for magpie is Pika Pika. It's an easy one to remember. So, we'll just take a deviation shortcut up here on this track. There's a bit of a breeze up here. So here we go. You can just see a bit of a climb. So, on the right hand side, to show you, we've got the nearby Potter Newton estate. So, we're coming along the footpath just at the top. And, right, we're going to stop here now as we get to the bench because I'm going to have a bit of a chat a little bit more about the history. course just look at the views there you can see Leeds University in the background and the city of Leeds it's magnificent it really is so everybody can see that absolutely fabulous so one of the things we're talking about the rhubarb triangle so there were fields of rhubarb growing around and around in the fields around Sugarwell Hill and forcing sheds and the farmer used to live on Miles Hill estate. Uh, older, older residents may remember seeing him with his cart and ploughing horses which is quite fabulous so it's uh, quite interesting I mean if you want to check out uh, Leodis website there's loads of information and old pictures which show areas where it was like it used to be about 100 years ago even even older than that which is quite interesting so I find it absolutely fabulous. It's one of the best websites for just looking at old pictures of Leeds. And then you can go out and explore the areas like fantastic Sugarwell Hill. So you can just see in the background, just look at that view. Just absolutely fabulous. So right then, we'll just carry on walking along the footpath and I'll be telling you a little bit more as we're going along about the wildlife, the heritage. So as I was saying, a lot of the uh, site, habitat, site and habitat management work it's carried out with the Sugarwell Hill Gang with support of the Parks and Countryside Ra Parks and Countryside Service Ranger Team, which is absolutely it's an important site for wildlife. Green space that's enjoyed by loads of people. I mean, I uh, stop off occasionally for lunch here, sit on the bench up there just just to look at the views, and in the early summer, capture glimpses of a red kite, occasionally a buzzard. So you can see now there's quite a lot of, if I just show you here, there's quite a lot of trees with berries on. So that'll be providing autumn food for the birds as well as when some of the seeds are scattered. Hopefully we'll get some new saplings growing next year, some new trees, which is great. Nature's way of uh, increasing tree cover as part of our climate <laughs> emergency. Ah, uh, loads of magpies today. So it's great, it's actually a bit fresh, it's actually a bit more breezy up at the top, so that humidity is not as bad as we're walking through the woodland. 
So we'll stop again when we get to another point with some fantastic views. Absolutely fabulous. I'm trying to look for a gap in the tree so we can get uh, some more views of the outlying area and I can talk a little bit more. <laughs> we have a nice little woodland glade there and you can just see across the woodland uh, wood, Woodhouse Ridge over there. So woodland glades like this down at the bottom very important for wildlife and butterflies. So of course one of the most interesting things about Sugar Well Hill is the fact that it wasn't always wooded. Look, grey squirrels, just missed them. Oh. It wasn't always a, a wooded area, it was just fields and open grassland. We're on Sugarwell Hill. <laughs> Hello, just another member of the public there, social distancing. So this is Sugarwell Hill in Meanwood Valley. Somebody's just asked, a member of the public. Online, of course, on Facebook. <laughs> So I think, I think one of the things that I've always found interesting, and I've always thought this, wouldn't it be great if you could get a time machine and go back, you know, just explore like the last hundred years of areas like Sugarwell Hill. It'd be amazing what you could see, wouldn't it? Yeah. I think one of the things I'd be interested in is the changing landscape, the changing kinds of species of wildlife, as well as it's just the historical value. It's just, we always, we always seem to forget that. It's not just nature. But the heritage and the historical value as well that are an important part of the site. And we, we've got loads of that in Meanwood Valley and around Leeds. So we're just walking up uh, to another crossroads section of footpaths, which I'll show you the finger post sign when we get there. Great, thank you. We've just had some compliments uh, on the live streaming. I hope you're enjoying it. So like I say, this is my first live streamed event. So I would like some uh, positive feedback, please, at the end. <laughs> so we're just walking along. So coming up to a finger post here. I met one, I'll just show you. So here we go. I'll just show everybody. Can you see it? You see the finger post? So we're near Sugar, we're walking up to Sugarwell Hill Mount. Or we're walking down to Scottwood Lane. Well, I want to walk down to Scottwood Lane because I want to show you something down here. Which is quite fascinating. cooler in the trees again so loads of wildlife around at the moment a lot of midges <laughs> and a few biting horse flies so I hope everybody can see clearly if I'm not holding up the selfie stick properly can you just tell me to So one of the things that's carries out is carried out every August, but we've not been able to deal with nature events because of the recent situation is we normally do the big butterfly count as well on Sugarwell Hill, which is really, really good to do. It's a great thing to do with your family members. You can you can download an app from Butterfly Butterfly Conservation, come on take pictures of on Sugarwell Hill, count the butterflies and you're helping nature conservation as well. So it's a fabulous site for exploration. We're just walking down now. It's footpath. So at the moment now, coming into this nice open woodland area. Just at only it's opening up the woodland. We're going to cut onto the uh, grassland here. Loads of ragwort around at the moment. 
and this is an area where we've been managing the woodland edge so we're encouraging scrub to come out which is a good boundary it's a good scrub edge is good for butterflies moths other insect species as well as this open grassland here which is great for wildflowers quite a lot of ragwort at the moment but it's good for providing insects for small mammals birds but also the views so right we're just going to stop for a minute because i want to tell you a little bit more so fact folklore or facts there's one of an interesting thing people in the area have said sugarwell hill is named after sugarwell after the former habit of mixing well water with sugar on certain days of the year may day then drinking it and another thing licorice root was also mixed with well, well water in some places so fact or folklore that's an interesting one that isn't it so we're just coming along we're just walking up here we're going back to the main track and then we're going to walk up we're not going to walk down to the farm yet because we've still got plenty to do and for those of you who've missed the uh, start of the the walk it will be put up on youtube later or you can play it again from love leads park love leads parks facebook page so just cutting across the grassland and we're walking up the footpath now again there we go great isn't it so you can see the views in the background just towards just sorry the tree covers just there but when we get a little bit higher i'll show you hopefully we'll better see minwood church in the distance it's normally I, I recommend if you want clear reviews it's really good to come in the autumn period uh, walk it in the autumn period and early winter and late winter because you can actually see the few the views are magnificent and you can actually see a lot more of the heritage features the buildings the old uh, the old houses and I recommend you, you visit the the old the old converted uh, ill mill as well I mean if I, as, far, as far as I'm aware there's a resident still living there so I'm sure he won't mind you taking a few snaps of the building if you ask permission that's better so we're coming up so there's a lot of uh, Cecil oak English oak and silver birch tree species Rowan Another name for Owen's mountain ash. So this is uh, it's quite quite green. Quite a lot of cover for the birds. Grey squirrels. So we're walking back up to the section, the footpath, the crossroads, because I want to take you on another another section of the footpath just further down just to show you something in fact ah that's okay so there's a lot of blackberries at the moment on the on the bushes The wildlife seems to be very fast today. I've already spotted about four grey squirrels, magpies, blackbirds, thrushes, song thrush, sparrow, blue tit. And a male robin, robin redbreast. But definitely a lot of berries on the trees for the birds which is good for winter time
So we're coming to the top again with a view, it's just a bit lower down. I'll just show everybody. You can see the city of Leeds in the background. So the history, it's quite, it's quite an interesting spot to explore, I would say, in Meanwood Valley. And it's worthwhile checking out loads of resources on Leeds City Council Parks and Countryside Service. You can download our Meanwood Valley walking booklet from the Meanwood Valley Partnership. And I'd also check out information as well on the Love Leeds Parks Facebook page. Check out their Twitter feed. They regularly update the, their feeds with new information, activities, what's potentially going to happen, online activities for Love Leeds Parks Festival. So we're just walking back down again. Because I want to come back the way we've, uh, the way we've walked along the Meanwell Valley Trail just so I can show you something near the farm. So here we go, this is what I'm after, this little footpath here that's always... So we just get better views of the farm as we're walking down. There we go. So you can't really see, but just below us is the farm. There's fields, it's got livestock grazing in there, cattle, sheep. So this area here, this footpath we're walking along, it actually links onto an old track. Uh, I think in the past this track was used for horse and cart because there's old, there's the remains of an old edgerow, edgerows on either side, which I was actually trying to access some information on this last year for the guided walk that I delivered on here. So there is yet, there's the remains of old dry stone wall there, boundary wall. Can you see it there? Probably sandstone and millstone grit that. Ah, here we go. So there we go, you can see the Meanwood Valley Urban Farm down there. There's sheep grazing in the fields. And also across, you can just see the Leeds University top again. The, the, the uh, cityscape of Leeds in the background. Absolutely fabulous. In fact, I'll just take you down here near the fence give you a better view everybody oh you can't see sorry about this <laughs> oops nearly this is the only problem with walking and talking so we're just walking along the footpath at the side of the farm just at the bottom of Sugarwell Hill so below the farm as I mentioned in the, the beginning there's Meanwood Beck and just be, just a just a at the side of the Meanwood Beck, there's Meanwood Valley Trail. And of course, if you walk the Meanwood Valley Trail, you can access Woodhouse Ridge, Meanwood Park, right up into Adel Woods, Golden Acre Park, and right out into the countryside, towards Adel, Airwood. You can access foot, other footpaths to Leeds Country Way, the Dales Way link. And I think what's one of the great things, you can actually plan your own heritage walk or history walk, so you could start Sugarwell Hill, you know, get them, download the Meanwood Valley walking guide, which tells you a lot about the history of the valley, and you can use it to complement your walk. Learn a little bit more about the area, not just the wildlife. So look at that, I'll just show you a fantastic tree tunnel there. Can you just see it? That's one of the reasons I like this footpath, it's always a great view, especially in autumn. If you're walking along here, you can capture great pictures. So fabulous. So and I recommend as well that at the moment the road shows, if you check out Love Leeds Parks Twitter feed and social media, other social media feed, Facebook, you can actually see there's a lot of road shows on at the moment because you can go along and meet uh, staff from the Love Leeds Parks, uh, celebrate the festival, you can ask a lot of questions about parks, you can 
grab some resources, mini beasts, some mini beast resources. We do your own mini beast in, in the back of your garden. It's just absolutely fabulous. A good opportunity to talk to people and visit the roadshow. And actually, just walking along here, now I've seen something as a ranger I'm going to have to deal with. We've got a fallen tree across the footpath. I'll just show everybody. So this is one of the most important things that rangers do for Leeds City Parks and Countryside Service. We work with, like I say, we work with volunteer groups, but we also do a lot of litter picking, habitat management work. We help the public rights away team out occasionally, and we remove obstructions like this. So I think we this is something we're going to have to. That is something I'm going to have to report, and I'm going to come along and try and remove that blockage. Uh, remove the small tree if I can or if not it may require a chainsaw and because of health and safety practices with the size of this tree we may have to inform the forestry team about this but look at it so what we do with something like that is it'd be it'd be cut up into small sections and we put it at the side of the path and use it as dead wood so dead wood habitat for wildlife so this as we're walking along here I'll just turn around here it's a, it's a small track that actually, I'm sure you can see the remains of an edge row on this side. You can just see it, zorthorn bushes. But this would have been an edge row, this. So this uh, used to be an old track that we're walking down. So we're walking towards the bottom of the Potter Newton estate, housing estate. Walking towards one of the entrances, we're just above the farm. So the whole history of the area, it's quite fascinating, just dating back to prehistoric times, the Roman period, the Middle Ages, the 16th to 17th centuries, it's got a diverse history. And of course, one of the most important things now, mod the modern age, the 21st century, we all seem to forget this, that a lot of the areas now, they have been built up, but there's a lot of communities from di diverse range of historical, cultural backgrounds themselves. It's absolutely fascinating. So we're always creating, one of the things I love about Leeds, we're always creating new history. So some really old veteran trees here. Wow. So that, just look at that oak in the background. Look at the thickness of that trunk. So as we're nearing the, uh, we're walking towards the, one of the entrances to Sugarwell Hill. We just, we've talked about the history, the nature. I've just given you a brief overview of the more interesting aspects of what's happened over the thousands of years. It's just absolutely, I want absolutely fabulous, and I just want you guys to get out and have an explore yourself. You know, look up a bit of information on the website, download resources from the Leeds Parks Fund, the Meanwood Valley Partnership, and the Leeds Parks and Countryside Service. We've got plenty of free interpretation leaflets that you can use on your smartphones, your tablets, and if you require. Any uh, hard copies of booklets? I do have a few uh, Meanwood Valley walking booklets left, and some Meanwood Valley nature guides, which can complement your walk. So as we're walking along here, can you see in the background that open grassland there, which is great for pollinated species. Also good for sunbathing as well than a picnic. <laughs> so you could actually have a picnic up there, get some views. So, there we go, and there's an interpretation panel at the front, which is information on Sugarwell Hill itself. And actually, you can just see in the distance, just about, which I hope you can, is Mean Mud Church. So there's a nearby Potter Newton House and Estate there. Of course, I'll just show you this. Just lift here. 
Do you see the uh, interpretation panel there for Shugawala, which is information on the tracks, what wildlife you can find, some of the history, but I do recommend you download the resources to complement your walk when you do visit, or you're taking the Meanwood Valley Trail when it's part, you're taking it in as part of the Meanwood Valley Trail. So, all I've got to say is, why not explore Sugarwell for yourself? Take a walk this week to celebrate Love Leeds Parks Festival, and if you're interested in becoming more involved, making a difference, looking after Sugarwell Hill, and making new friends, join the Sugarwell Hill Gang, a volunteer community group who regularly carry out estate and habitat management tasks with my colleague, Ranger Louise Gibson.